Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. Peace and Pan Africanism, peace and Pan Africanism. This is your big brother, Dr. Umar Ifatunde, the notorious one. This is Dr. Umar Ifatunde, the notorious one. And I'm coming to you live and direct from the lovely island of Martinique. I'm coming to you live and direct from the lovely island of Martinique. I'm coming to you live and direct from the lovely island of Martinique in the Caribbean, so-called West Indies. We're gonna call it West Africa. We're gonna call the Caribbean the Western extension of Mama Africa. Brothers and sisters, I was in Guadeloupe for the past two nights. Shout out to the Guadeloupian family. Nothing but love. I'll be with my Lower Marion in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania families Thursday and Friday. I'll be with my Lower Marion in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania families Thursday and Friday. I'll be hosting a Black Parent Know Your School Rights seminar in Lower Marion Thursday night. And I'll be hosting the Black Comedy Bash on Germantown Avenue in Philadelphia. Friday night but because I have a few hours to burn because I have a few hours to burn here in lovely Martinique lovely Martinique shout out to all my French speaking Africans in Martinique my French speaking Africans in Guadeloupe my French speaking Africans in Mali in Niger in Burkina Faso in Senegal in Sierra Leone in all of my French Africans in Paris and throughout Europe and all my French speaking islands throughout the Caribbean and Central and South America. Since I have a little bit of time here in Martinique, since I have a little bit of time here in Martinique, I first wanna remind everybody to hit the cash app. That's the first thing. Let's take care of business. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. Hit the cash app, dollar sign FDMG school. I do not plan on learning French. I will speak the African Creole of my brothers and sisters in the French islands, but I have no desire to learn another slave master's tongue. I have no desire for that. I will learn the Creole or the patois of my Haitian African brothers and sisters. Let me not forget the re revolutionary Haitian Africans. I will speak the Haitian patois in the French Caribbean Creole, but I'm not learning another slave master's tongue. FDMG, get it right, FDMG. Hit the PayPal International Africans, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Hit the PayPal International Africans, paypal.me slash FDMG Academy. Now, let's talk about the principles of Pan-Africanism. I wanna go back to the basics here in the island of Martinique. I wanna go back to the basics here in the island of Martinique. If any of my Martinique Africans are pulling up, text my phone directly. 215-989-9858. If any of my Martinique Africans are trying to pull up on me directly, text my phone, 215-989. Let me go to my text messages real quick. If you have a question about Pan-Africanism, you can text me direct, not WhatsApp, because I'm using that phone. Use the other phone, plus one, 215-989-9858. Direct text, do not use WhatsApp, because I'm on Instagram on the WhatsApp phone. So let me go to my text messages. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism at the end of his Black History Month tour. Black History Month will end in Lower Marion Thursday night at 6 p.m. Black History Month will end in Lower Marion, Pennsylvania Thursday night, February the 29th. It's a Black History Month leap year. Okay, let's see what we got. Hello, Dr. Umar. I had a question for you regarding your beliefs about the rainbow community. I respect your personal beliefs, so this is not an attack. Simply a very respectful discussion, question of curiosity. In your interview with Big Adre, how you doing, sister? Good afternoon. We must stay focused. 
Brothers, we must stay focused in Martinique. Brothers, we must stay focused in Martinique. Hello, Dr. Umar. I had a question for you regarding your beliefs linked to the LGBT community. I respect your beliefs on this, so it is not an attack. A very respectful discussion question of curiosity. In your interview with Bigger Dre, you talked about it not being logical that black people believe in a religious system that has only existed for 2,000 years in a book with many different unproven facts. This is a long question. Because we have existed for hundreds of thousands of years with traditions, practices, and beliefs, which I agree with, but I'm not here to dictate the beliefs of other people. Neither am I. This did make me curious, though, because if we are trying to come back to our original ancestral roots and spiritual beliefs, we cannot deny the fact that ancient African spirituality not only accepted, but exalted members of the rainbow community. We're going to stop right there. We're going to stop right there. You're claiming that ancient African spirituality accepted rainbow ganging and exalted it. Can you please show me an exalted rainbow in ancient Africa? I need to see proof of this. Show in what country, what community, what clan, what village, under what chiefdom did we celebrate rainbow ganging in ancient Africa? Lord have mercy. I'm a current student at Indiana University. We have an art museum called Art of Africa, Oceania, and Indigenous Art of the Americas. One is a display of artwork from Papua New Guinea called Memorial Figure by the Maydak people of the Malam village. The figure depicts a big-headed, short-legged statue with both male and female anatomy and is used at male rite ceremonies. Okay, my sister, you don't understand African spirituality. You don't understand African spirituality. When you find a statue in Africa depicting masculine and feminine genitalia, let me break this down. Let me break this down. When you find a statue in Africa depicting male and female genitalia, that is not an embrace of the rainbow. That is a metaphysical representation of divine masculine and female energy, not sexuality. Let me say it again and do your research on this. When you see both genitalia, it is a representation of the balance of masculine and feminine energy. It is not, it is not the promotion of of rainbow ganging. I need you to under, y'all have to stop trying to hijack our culture to validate your lifestyle. I respect you, I love you. I do not agree with you, but I respect you and I love you. But you cannot take African culture and try to appropriate it in order to validate your lifestyle. We can't do that. We can't do that. When you see the female genitalia and the male genitalia, it is simply a representation of the masculine and the feminine divine energies which are in balance with one another. Because we have both masculine and feminine energy, but we do not have both masculine and feminine sexuality. Don't confuse masculine and feminine sexuality with masculine and feminine energy for example tolerance is a feminine energy when you practice tolerance that can be feminine feminine energies often deal with the preservation of life tolerance can save lives nonviolence is a feminine energy nonviolence can prevent war so anytime you're dealing with energies that can prevent conflict they tend to be masculine if dr umar is practicing tolerance if dr umar is practicing compassion those are feminine energies that doesn't mean dr umar is interested in engaging in female sexuality there is a difference there that i need you to understand Perhaps I should come and do a seminar for the Rainbow family. Perhaps we need to have a respectful conversation between the two communities. Okay, the traditional sexuality community 
and the contemporary rainbow sexu sexuality community, we might need to have a conversation. I don't know if I'm going to keep going through that. You have a very long question. Maybe you want to pay for a consultation. I do charge $75 for a consultation if you want to talk on the phone. $100 for a consultation if you want to look at my beautiful masculine face while we talk, sister. But we can, if you want to pay for a consultation, we can go into this a little bit deeper. Well, let me read one more part of this. You said rainbow ganging is birth control for the African race because rainbow people cannot reproduce. I do not deny the existence of an agenda to promote rainbow ganging, to try and stop the reproduction of black children. The problem with you taking direct opposition to the rainbow community is it demonizes the community. I didn't demonize anybody. Who have I demonized my beautiful African sister? This is Dr. Umar coming to you live and direct from the island of Martinique, the French speaking island of Martinique. Peace and Pan-Africanism to all my French-speaking Caribbean Africans and my Francophone African countries. Peace and Pan-Africanism. When did I demonize you? I simply disagreed. Why would you accuse me of demonizing for only disagreeing? Why would you, why would you accuse me of demonizing when I, when I have only disagreed with you, my dear sister? Let me see what else you got in here. Why is the rainbow community ridiculed for their ways as if it is non-African? It is non-African. I need you to show me proof of the acceptance of the rainbow in traditional African society. You all often claim it, but I've never seen proof. I'm not against you, my sister. I'm not against you, my sister. I love all Africans, but I am a political pragmatist. Do you know what that means, dear sister? I am a political pragmatist. Anything that is against the best interests of African people, I am against it. Anything that is against the best interests of African people, anything. Bunny hopping, anything that is against the best interests of African people. Let's not disrespect them, brothers and sisters. I don't want to disrespect them. They're still Africans. Do not disrespect the Rainbow Gang. They're still Africans. Do not disrespect them. We got to be civil about this. We have to be civil about this. We can disagree without being disagreeable. We can disagree without being disagreeable. I love your work, Sister Nidra from Chicago. Thank you, my sister. Sister Nidra, thank you, my sister Nidra. Can we please listen to some Freddie Jackson while I massage your back? No, thank you, sister. I'm in, I'm in, I'm, I'm in teacher mode right now, sister. Don't distract me with the lower chakras. This is not about the lower chakras, sister. You cannot rub my back while we listen to Freddie Jackson. And I don't even listen to Freddie Jackson, but no, we can't do that, my sister. It's 1230 in the afternoon. This is not the time for procreation. Who else we got on here? Oh, man, this is a beautiful picture. This is a beautiful picture. A brother just sent me a beautiful picture. Shout out to Brother Ray in, brother Ray in Oklahoma City. How big is this picture? His daughter painted a picture of the most honorable Frederick Douglass, the most honorable Marcus Garvey, and the honorable Dr. Umar Ifatunde. His daughter just painted a beautiful picture of the most honorable Frederick Douglass, the most honorable Marcus Garvey, and the honorable Dr. Um. I need to know how big is this picture. I need this on the wall of FDMG. I need this on the wall of FDMG. I need this. This is going in my office. This is going on my, if you are an artist, I'm talking to all African artists around the world. I'm talking to all African artists around the world. I need paintings of the Honorable Frederick Douglass and the Honorable Marcus Garvey. 
You can include the Prince of Pan-Africanism, but I am optional because I am not on the level of those two great ancestral giants. If you are an artist and you want to donate some painting, do a painting of the Honorable Frederick Douglass and the Honorable Marcus Garvey. You can include me if you want, but I am optional. You can include me if you want. Do you like white people? It's not a question of do I like white people. That, 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 that question has to be rephrased. My life is not about myself. My life is about the liberation of African people. So when you say, do you like the Neanderthal? When you at, what are you asking me? I'm not interested in a personal relationship with the Neanderthal nation. Do you like white people? I, I don't even deal in those terms. I'm not vibrating on that frequency. So I need you to re, re I need you to reframe, rephrase your question, my sister. I read about Chinese men moving to Africa, having children with African women. The Chinese want a stake in Africa resources. Many African women want children with lighter hair and lighter skin and less kinky hair. Yes, that is true. The Chinese are reproducing with African women all throughout Africa. They're actually killing their children in the Congo. There's a documentary. The Chinese men who came to the Congo. The Chinese men who came to the Congo were actually murdering our Chinese African babies. They have a whole cemetery graveyard where the Chinese men would take the African babies and kill them. The Chinese men would take the African. I am upset that the African countries are not passing laws. There should be laws passed in Nigeria, laws passed in the Congo, laws passed in South Africa. If you impregnate an African woman that you are not married to, you will be imprisoned and deported after prison. I'm going to say it again. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism coming to you live and direct from the island of Martinique. I'm on a layover. I have a five hour layover, but I'm loving the sun because I'm the son of the sun and I am melanin dripping right now. I am melanin dripping right now outside of the Martinique airport. I am melanin dripping. I am melanin dripping in the island of Martinique right now. African countries should pass a law making it illegal for Chinese men or men of any other race to impregnate our women at all if they are not married and they shouldn't be allowed to marry them. We need to bring back the Garvey laws. We need to bring back the Garvey laws. We need to bring back the Garvey laws. You shouldn't even be allowed to lay with the African woman. The African woman is too divine. The African woman is too sacred. The African woman is too original. The African woman is too high. A manifestation of the divine. This is why I'm trying to motivate African women to stop giving your yoni verse to men of the other universe. Stop giving your yoni verse. To these men of the other universe, stop giving your yoni verse. To the men of the other universe, I don't hate nobody. I'm against miscegenation because African people are divine. Why are you sharing your divinity with non African species? Let me go to another question on my text message. I'm just thinking about you, Big Papa. Thank you, my sister. I hope that was sent with the highest of intentions because we are not dealing in low vibrations here in Martinique. Peace, my brother. I'm trying to get the correct cash app to donate to the school. Dollar sign FDMG, my brother. Dollar sign FDMG, my brother. If you want to volunteer for paint day, and you have donated to the school, if you wanna volunteer for paint day, and you have donated to the school any amount of money, text me your first name, your last name, your city, your state, how much you have donated over the past 10 years, your cash app or your PayPal or your mailing address from which your donation was made. I need proof of your donation. Any amount, Sunday is over. Priority sign up for my donors who have given 300 or more. They can still sign up, but they're no longer giving preference. We're looking for 30 volunteers to help us paint the school. Who's coming to Wilmington, Delaware for FDMG Indoor Paint Weekend? Who's coming to Wilmington, Delaware 
for FDMG Indoor Paint Weekend. Who's coming to Wilmington, Delaware for FDMG Indoor Paint Weekend, my brothers and sisters? Text your first name, your last name, your city, your state, how much you have donated over the past 10 years, your cash app and or your PayPal and or your mailing address to 215-989-9858. 2159899858 to voluntarily reduce your level of melanin in your children is a mental illness bunny hopping is a mental illness send your resume to fdmgresumes at gmail.com send your resumes to fdmgresumes at gmail.com you must have a cover letter you must have a why y'all can't get my phone number right it ain't changed in 19 years why can't y'all get my phone number right? It hasn't changed in 19 years. 215-989-9858. Sister April, Coppin State University, March 13th. Coppin State University, Sister April, March the 13th. I'm still waiting on the details. I'm still waiting on the details. I know this is the last minute, Dr. Umar, but I want to invite you to Lansing, Michigan for a Nubian fashion show. I would love to be in Lansing on February the 28th. I would love to be in Lansing on February.